Hello everyone and welcome back to another script case tutorial. Fred here from Script Case Speaking and today we're going to see a tutorial about how to use Google Drive API within Script Case. Okay, let's get us started. The first thing I'm going to do here before um, showing you the step by step is a few slides including the reasons and some details about why to use this function. So what is the function about? The function basically allows you to save uh, uploaded files of your script case into the main cloud storage services such as Google Drive, Dropbox and Amazon S3. So one of the main advantages of use this uh, function is basically that you're going to save a lot of hosting and server file space. In addition, we can say that this option, it also works as a backup uh, function because let's imagine that you have a local installation, you delete a file, well, that file, you can enable an option and that file will be up and running into your Google Drive, Dropbox or Amazon. So this will be a great uh, option for most of companies, I guess. So the user is already a user. Yes, I'm talking about Google Drive and Dropbox. So the final user won't necessarily needs to be a developer for use this option. We can, in an easy steps, configure the final user Dropbox or the final user Google Drive for use this option. In the other hand, we can get started with this configuration for free. Dropbox offers you up to 2 gigabytes for free and Google Drive offers you up to 15 gigabytes for free. And finally, if you need premium space, well, another good news, the plans are really affordable. For example, uh, I was taking a look here and Google Drive offers you a plan for something like $2 per month for 100 uh, gigabytes and Dropbox, on the other hand, offers you 5 terabytes uh, paying just $12 per month. So, if you have an idea, 5 terabytes, it's a lot of information. So. I think your prices are fair enough and of course you are going to save a lot of money with this especially for companies that are you know using a lot of hosting and uh, VPS and dedicated server space. Okay enough talking so I will go ahead with the settings step by step so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and here we go. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is just open up your browser and then type console.developers.google.com then slash api slash dashboard. You can read the terms and then select your country. Then you have to create a new project. Remember that you can use your Google account or even your company Google account for this purpose and for creating a new project the process is really simple just go to this drop down menu then new project then you can just name the project in this case will be script case uh, 3 since I have another project uh, created Okay, let's wait for it and this process takes a few seconds, okay. Let's click in the view option. Now we are browsing our uh, brand new project. So let's go to the navigation menu, then we can go just for APIs and services. We're going to go to the dashboard. Once here, we need to enable the APIs on services. So we're going to head with this option. And from here, we can select the 
API that we're going to work with. In this case, as we previously discussed, will be Drive or Google Drive. Just type Drive and the first result will be your um, API. Let's enable it. Once the Google Drive API is enabled, we can go to the credentials menu right here. Then we can go to the configure consent screen. Let's go ahead with external use, then create. So right now we can name the application. In this case will be script case uh, three. All right, so we can scroll down here, uh, leave all the fields as default and just click up the save below button right here. So let's wait a little bit. Okay, right now we can go ahead again to the credentials menu, then create credentials. And finally here, OAuth client ID. So once here we need to select uh, desktop application. Uh, let's name again the application. In this case will be uh, script case uh, three. Good, so we are almost there. Once this process is complete, we just need to click here at okay. Then we need to download this file. This will be a JSON file. Okay, so we can just click in this uh, download the button. So let's go ahead. Okay, I will be saving this file at my desktop. Okay, we can open this file and here we have the JSON file for my script case. So let's select all this code and copy it and let me just go to my script case and what I need to do right now is just to go to tools then APIs in order to set up my API profile. So you can create a new profile. I already got one created. So you need to enter here the name uh, mode. I will go ahead with public. Uh, the gateway in this case will be Google Drive, okay? Remember that we have a lot of different types of profiles, APIs and connections. Uh, we have S3, uh, Dropbox. In this case, we're just going ahead with Google Drive. The application name will be script case one, but of course you can name this with the name of your application. Then we need to paste uh, all our JSON code. Okay, so let me paste here my uh, new code. All right, so the final part will be just allowing uh, the account for all these operations. So let's go ahead with this uh, below button. We need to log in here with your developer account. Just select your account. Then just go ahead with this second option. We need to allow here the permissions. Great, so right now allow again. Make sure that you read all the terms. And from here we can select here the auth code, okay? We can copy it. Then we can go back to our script keys, just paste the code here and click at the save button. Great. So the next move will be just go to our application. In this case, I got a form. This is just in a standard form. We can go to the fields option. Um, in this case, I'm using here a drive field, which is actually into my database. It's just a standard bar chart uh, field. Okay, nothing special, but here in the script case, we just need to select here a data type. We just need to select document file name. Okay, into the files options, we'll file different ones. We're going to use 
document file name. All right, good. So uh, we have a couple of options. Uh, the new options for these uh, fields are these with the new tag right here. Okay, so uh, we can just select an icon here. Um, I will go ahead with this uh, drive uh, icon, but you can choose another one. All right. Then we have here the storage API. Um, in this case, I will select here the profile. Okay. Um, if you already changed your, uh, if you created a new one and it's not appearing here, you can refresh these um, profiles. Then you can edit here if you need to change something. So let's run this application. That's why for the source code. Okay. Well, we can now scroll down here a little bit and uh, here we have our drive uh, field. We can select a file. I'll go ahead with this um, invoice sub PDF document. Okay. I can save here this, um, this option data modify and right now I can go here to my Google Drive and they have here as you can see uh, 1142 1142 okay so this is the new feature about a script case um, we can also set up here some options for example I can create a new option here for example a uh, new folder and I can type here uh, backup then create okay so from script case I can use this folder I will just type uh, slash backup all right so I go again here ran I'll select the file here. Let me select this Excel file. Uh, save here. I will go to my backup uh, folder. Okay, here it is. Uh, this is one of the greatest options of a script case of this new version. Good. Another option here is for create directories into the script case uploaded file folders so we can for example uh, browse here the cache file of a script case so we have here the temporary files um, we can type here for example slash uh, temp drive for example and then we can run this application So I will save this uh, record again. And if we go back here, I have this folder and now I have my PDF document here. And it is also into my backup uh, folder of my drive, this one right here. Okay. Let me see if the name is correct. Invoice four and then we have here invoice four. So this is correct. Uh, the next thing we can see here is just for keep the file after uploading via API. Well, this option basically once you upload a file, that file will be permanent instead of being a cache file into your uh, script case folder. So remain that if you enable these options, you won't be saving so much space uh, because the file will be into your drive and into script case as a permanent file. Okay. The next one will be deletion into script case API. What this means? It means that once you delete the file here, it also will be deleted at your drive. So let's make a quick test here. Let's go ahead with the delete button. I want to delete this, this file. Okay. So let's wait and here it is, there is no more backup file here. 
So before I uh, finish this tutorial, I want to mention that all your uh, cache files will be deleted in a certain time. So you can set up the deleting time in the prod settings. Okay, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. So please thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.